All right, so welcome back. Today we're going to be doing uh, probably a couple inside this uh, office security here. All right, uh, first of all, we'll do a SAR, S-A-R, SARS. And um, yeah, so I'll get this guy loaded up. So I'm going to try, probably try to do SAR. Um, let's see here, there's one here called, if I can keep going up, monitoring. I was going to do that one. Add potato. So, but, uh, so I record these, they're all going to be like, you know, kind of split up throughout that and stuff like that. So, if all of a sudden I start back over with, hey, how's everyone, how's everyone doing? That's why. And that guy's still starting up. Starting start here in about eight seconds or so. And then we'll, uh, we'll kick this off. Alright, so we got our IP address and everything, so we started up, right? We got Star. Let's go ahead and do a, a map scan on him, and we'll see uh, see what we can find. Port 80 and port 22. Go ahead and run a uh, dir search. I'm just going to use common.txt. I've been using that a lot more lately. All right, so we'll use dir, dir search on here. All right, we got Star. S A R. Go ahead and uh, make a directory for it. We'll see that directory. All right, and we'll do a um, should be it for like right now. Let's go ahead and check out that port 80. See if we can find anything on here, and we have our regular. Apache page, so nothing on there that we see so far. Nothing, uh, nothing exciting with that. So let's continue uh, working on this and kind of wait for this guy to be finished off. Down here, our dirt search down here. We'll see what we found with that. Search is taking a minute. We always try to look for different stuff like robots.txt, things like that. That's what I normally look for. WordPress. Okay, so robots, which would have taken a minute to get to. We're, uh, or we could have done a map. Tac P80. Tac SV. Tac SV. And look there. We could wait for that to be done with. Uh, we would have the robots.txt there or within NictoScan also. We do find the star 2 HTML, which, if you've been watching my live streams, you'll know that we actually just did one like this with the star 2 HTML. So let's go ahead and throw that in there, and we'll see if we get anywhere, see if we get anything with that. All right, cool, we do. Version 3.2.1, which I believe was the same version that we had before. So let's see if we can do something with this, if we can grab this guy. I'm going to do some vulnerabilities. And there's exploit DB's vulnerability. And we can go ahead and look at that. I know there's a couple of them. This is not the one that I like. There's a different one. Is it this one like right here. This one's it, but this one's the actual, like a Python 3 actual vulnerability type of thing. Let's just try to find a... No, there's other ones than just that. There's one that I like a lot. It makes your life really easy to look at. Well, code execution. Is this one it? That one's not it either. It's a really easy one to look at. That's what I'm looking for like right now. Or if I have it on my Windows page here, if, that's, if it's still up over there. 
Look at my Windows screen like real quick, see if I can find it, because I know that, I mean, I pulled it up before, so, uh, SAR2, HTML, see if I can find it here, I'll just copy and paste it over to there, nice little script for it that they had, it's not really a script, but just showing how to do it, um, that's not it, it's going to be the last part of the video. That's a reverse shell, that's not it. Alright, you know what? We're just going to do it ourselves, okay? Um, so we have that star, right? So let's go ahead and look at new. And you see how we got this index PHP question mark plot equals. So if we put a break in there, right? And then we do PWD. Enter, select host, we have a SAR2 HTML, so we know that we are able to run commands on here. Um, another command we could run real quick, ID, and we can see, yep, that's the www data. Alright, easy, right? So now, what else can we do with this? What if we were able to run, you know, like um, some type of uh, like reverse, reverse uh, shell script? Can we run something like that? Can we run PHP with it? You know, what else can we run with this? Because um, the last time we did this, there was also a SQL server up and running, right? And the SQL server, we were able to look at the config file. This one, there is not. So we could try to do a um, PWD again. We, where are we at? We're in var www.html star 2 html. So we could try to do like an lsxla and, um, and var www.html. See if there's anything in there. All right, now uh, we got our robots.txt. We have a write.sh, finally.sh. Okay, let's try to just look at www. We just keep doing this, okay? Dot local. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff in here, right? So, what I, what I want to try to do is I want to try to run a some, some type of like reverse shell. Okay, so we can put in like which Python. We can do which and we see there's no host defined here. That means that it's not there. So let's try which Python 3. Maybe we can make a reverse shell with Python 3. And we can. We have a user bin Python 3. So we may be able to run a reverse shell with Python 3. May. I don't actually know yet. But we could try. Right? I mean, there's none, none to say that we can't try it. Um, so let's go ahead and... Uh, pull up our reverse shells here. I think we're pretty much done with this guy over here. So, let's pull up our reverse shells with CD into uh, actually scripts. Okay, our scripts. There's a bash reverse shell. We can try that guy. A bash. So an IF config on here. Um, nano, our bash reverse shell. Well, actually, we just cat that guy. Then we'll just uh, paste him up here. We can always try this guy right here. 192.168.49.49.123, right? Ports 9999. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Uh, so we can go ahead and copy this whole thing. Do a netcat on port 9999. And we can try to run this up here. See if that will come back to us. I don't know if this bash script will actually come back or not. Uh, that was not hanging, so that didn't seem to work. Okay, that's okay. Um, we can always try that Python 3. Right, script to be able to get a connection back to us. Um, let's look at our cat, our uh, reverse Python 1.txt. Looks like we're going with 2.txt. So I know I do have a Python 3. There we go. We can try this guy right here. Put our IP address in there, right? And our IP address was, I already forgot it, that's good. Try to do this one right here, maybe make a reverse shell with this guy. Um, we can do a port 9999. Alright. So we get it with this. See if we can get anywhere with it. Control B. That one's hanging. 
and we do. We got a reverse shell. Cool. We do an ID, and we are www data ls la, and we find that we're in that SAR HTML file. Okay, cool. Uh, now remember, we also have our we do have Python 3 running. So what we could do now is get a full shell with Python 3. So I do my cat for my scripts. Uh, full shell. Python 3, full shell. There we are. Okay. I also see, when I very first came into this guy, I saw that we have this write.sh, which I can do, right? And this finally.sh, which root does. Now when I cat finally.sh, I see that it talks to write.sh, okay? So these two are talking to each other, but it's not really telling me anything else, right? So I decide, okay, well, let's go ahead and look at, you know, let's see uh, what's going on with like a, a cron job or something like that. So if I go down to my scripts, right, it'll cat scripts, cron job, job lookup. So we can do this, cat etsy cron tab, okay? And you can see that every, what is this, five minutes, finally .sh is running, right? And write.sh is something that we can actually mess with, correct? So why don't we try to make a reverse shell, again, um, like a, a bash reverse shell or something like that, within that cron job, and then just wait for it to run, right? Who, who say that we couldn't do that, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Except I was having a blast. I just got a little pool out there. So like one of the like, little like a uh, blow up pool. So she's having a freaking blast today. Someone's having a blast. Then it was bedtime for him, a little nap time. But she's having coolest day ever. All right. So we made this right. Um, so let's go ahead and change out that write dot sh so we can echo. Let's actually write down out, out here, okay? We can echo, right? Um, we can actually echo that whole thing right there, that guy, okay? And let me do my IF config again, just to make sure that. So we actually want to do a IF config for 192.168.49.123, okay? With a different port on also. 192.168.49.123, right? Myself, right? Coming back to myself. Slash, we'll do port 1234, all right? And this is a bash reserve shell script. We can echo that into write.sh. So we can also just append it to that. We can do an append. We'll do an append first. We'll do that so you guys can see what an append actually looks like. Because usually I don't append stuff. Control shift C, and let's go ahead and scroll that in here. Enter. Okay. Now let's look at that write.sh. Cat write.sh. And as you see, the file is now appended. Okay. Now, all we should have to do is just create a reverse shell listener and just wait for, at the minimum, five minutes. That's what we should have to do. All right. Um, I know that waiting always sucks because you're always like, I don't know if this could work or not, you know. But this should work. There shouldn't be any reason why it doesn't. Every five minutes, this cron job runs at file.sh. File.sh talks to write.sh, which has a touch, TMP gateway, okay, whatever. And it also says, hey, to bash, you know, make a bash reverse shell pretty much to this guy right over here, which is now listening down here. Okay. Now, I could technically just run, like, write.sh, or I could try to run file.sh. What's going to happen is says data is running it, WW data is running it, it's not running for its cron job. I'm just going to get a reverse shell back still under www data, which that would be absolutely pointless, right? There wouldn't be any reason to do that. So that's why I'm uh, yeah, just waiting now. All right, so that guy did not work. None of it worked. Um, I ended up having to use a netcat reverse shell. I just didn't want the video to be, you know, 40 minutes long for something that didn't work for 30 to 40 minutes. So I cut out all that, so that's why it just kind of looks like it just skips to something good again. So there you go, you're welcome. <laughs> Try this like right here. Sorry, my computer is too. 49123, 49123, okay, but that one's not different. Try that. Let's go ahead and put that guy in here. Let's try this. 
See what we get. There's that, and from here we'll do and try to do this again. Let's see if we get anything. All right, so we did get something that time, but as you see, I have WW data, which I was talking about earlier, right? So we're back here. So let's go ahead and, and do that again. Now we'll start a five-minute timer, and we should be good to go. Okay. So now, oh, what was that? Did we already get? It? Okay, we got it. That was actually wow. That was a uh, that was something else. So what we did there was we utilized the netcat reverse shell script. Um, my bash one, it was saying there was a syntax error, which I don't think there is. And the high, the Python one, it was saying that there was also some type of error, which I've used that one before too. So that was kind of weird on both of those, but I'll take a look at both of those. They decided to use the netcat reverse shell dot text, and we got it through that. Okay, so there it is, like right there. So we were able to get in through two different listening ports. Uh, the first time was 9999, right, on the actual web server itself, utilizing this guy over here with the plot equals and my Python uh, script over here, my Python 3 script, okay, um, which was actually the same exact one as this guy. So there was no way there was an error. All right, but um, then after that, we then utilized a netcat reverse shell script in here, and we went from there, which then gave us root. So let's see in the root, ls tech la. And as you can see, we have our proof.txt. So let's go ahead and cat our proof.txt. And we'll grab that. Cool. Great. So that's not where I want to go. There we are. And let's go ahead and put this flag in there now. Save that. All right. Flag is correct. Cool. And we'll go ahead and stop this machine. Yes. From there, we'll go down to, I don't think I was going to take that long, so let's try to find, uh, we already did weapon, or maybe we'll go up, I guess, up to, uh, go potato, you guys want, do the potato one, 